Hello, now we are going to see projection of lines. I am having an example. It is given that a line NS of 80 mm long has its end N, 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. The other end S is 65 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. Now, let me take the short notes of the question. What is given is true length. That is, uh, true length is 80 mm. And uh, one end of the line, that is N. N is 10 mm above HP. above HP and uh, 15 mm in front of VP 15 mm in front of VP and the other end S is 65 mm above HP 65 mm above HP and uh, 50 mm in front of VP. This 50 mm in front of VP. Now what is given is the true length is 80 mm and uh, one end of the line that is N is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. And the other end S is 65 mm above HP and 50 mm in front of VP. Let me solve one by one. Now they are given the true length is 80 mm. This is true length. And another thing what they are given is the one end of the line is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. Now let me take this. Let me draw the horizontal plane and vertical plane. This is HP and this is VP. Pulse line. Now look at the question. One end of the line that is, uh, let me take N. The, uh, the line is NS. Uh, one end is N is 10 mm above HP. Above HP in the sense the projection of line falls on VP. Where it falls is it's 10 mm above HP. So I have taken 10 mm above HP. This is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP. And this is 15 mm, 15 mm in front of VP. So I have drawn the locus. Let me take this locus as S1 and this locus as S2 dash. I repeat, one end of the line that is N is 10 mm above HP, so the projection falls on VP and uh, 15 mm in front of VP. 15 mm in front of in front of VP and it falls on HP. So I have drawn this is 15 mm and this thing is 10 mm. Now, what's the other point is, the other end S is 65 mm above HP. The other point S, the other point of the line, this is the starting point of the line, maybe, uh, I am taking as N. The other point is 65 mm above HP. Let me take some more here, this is 65 mm, I am going to draw a locus of 65 mm length. 65 mm from S2, I have drawn 65 mm from S2 and uh, this is front view where the front view lies on VP and this is top view where it lies on HP and what is given is 50 mm in front of VP this is 50 mm, I am going to take here this is uh, 50 mm in front of VP Yeah, we have solved these two parts. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to 
draw the projection of line where it falls so that I am going to take the true length of the line given as 80 mm I am going to take a compass and I am going to measure 80 mm in the compass I am going to take 80 mm in the compass I am going to cut an arc on the reference line of S this is the locus of S locus of S dash and this is locus of S and uh, I am going to join this this is nothing but front view let me take this as n dash and this as s dash so there won't be any confusions and uh, the same thing I am going to do is I am going to draw the projection of line this is top view and I am going to name this as s n s the true length is 80 mm and what the next step is I am going to draw a perpendicular line from the point S dash to the locus of S1 and I am going to take the compass and I am going to measure N and this perpendicular line distance and I am going to cut an arc on the locus of S and let me name this as this is S2 S2 because this I'm, I have projected the S2 here so S2 I have uh, named this as S2 and I am going to draw an another perpendicular line from N I am going to draw a perpendicular line to the locus of S2 dash and again I am going to take the distance of N0 and the perpendicular line and I'm another I am going to cut an arc on the locus of S dash let me name this as S1 S1 dash this is S1 here S1 S1 dash this is S2 now I have projected the line let me say in steps what is the first step what we have to do is let me cut short the question and write what is given the I have written here one end of the line is 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP and what is first step what we have to do is draw the horizontal plane and the vertical plane then see where the end of the line and the, what is the distance of the one end of the line falls from VP or HP and it's given here 10 mm above HP so I have drawn 10 mm above HP and 15 mm in front of VP second step is 15 mm in front of VP what is the third, third step I did is I have drawn the 65 mm that is the other end of the line is 65 mm above HP so I have taken 65 mm above HP this is 65 mm above HP so I have drawn in VP and 50 mm in front of VP so this is 50 mm in front of VP 50 mm in front of VP I have drawn the locus and what I did is I am going to project the line so what is the true length of the line given is 80 mm take the compass and take the distance of 80 mm and cut the arc on the locus of S dash uh, same thing uh, it's given the true length is 80 mm uh, cut the uh, take the 80 mm in compass and cut an arc on the locus of S and draw a perpendicular line up to the S1 that is S2, S2 dash locus and from there take the distance of N, N dash and S2 dash locus this perpendicular line and then with the N as center cut an arc which cuts on the locus of S dash name that as N, S1 dash then same, same thing N, N dash and S dash from there draw a perpendicular draw a perpendicular line to the locus of S1 and again take the distance of N and the perpendicular line and draw a cut and arc on the locus of S this is what the projection of lines 
then mark the locus that's all now, thank you at last we are going to find the true inclination of the line with hp and also with vp what's the true inclination of the line with hp now join the n and s1 dash this is nothing but the true length of the line is given n dash and s dash and uh, let me mark this as theta n dash and s1 dash is theta and n dash s dash is theta 1 now this theta theta is the true inclination of the line true inclination of the line n s with hp this is the true inclination of the line with hp now i am going to mark the true inclination of the line with vp the true inclination of the line with vp is nothing but n join n n s2 n and s2 and uh, let me mark this as to give the differentiate i am using the word theta theta 1 and maybe here phi and this is phi 1 phi is nothing but phi phi is the true inclination of the line ns with vp i repeat this theta and theta 1 is the true inclination of the line with hp and phi and phi 1 are the true inclination or the true inclination of the line with vp thank you